beta pack 4, um, which is the uh, culmination of uh, the development of the beta pack range since 1989, uh, beta pack 1 originally, of course. Uh, now beta pack 4, uh, which is very much targeted towards multi-purpose events, uh, towards installations and touring. It's a real utilitarian product uh, where we've added some great new features. I'm going to pass you across to Edward, who will now tell you about beta pack 4. Thanks very much, David. Uh, you join me here in the uh, stage left wing of the theatre. Uh, we're going to take a look at Beta Pack 4, um, kind of in use in one of many possible applications. Uh, we've got it here at the base of our boom, and we've got a mixture of different fixtures. We've got some LED, uh, some dimming. Okay. And so what we can do is we can just simply plug into whatever socket we need, depending on the load. So I can have my uh, mover and my LED fixture here going into my top row of sockets, which are my hard power. And then I've got my, uh, my, my dimmed fixture there coming into the bottom row of sockets on my, on my dim channel. Nice thing about this variant is, of course, we've got the split sockets. So I know that I've got my, my 16 amp sockets here, my C-form sockets are for my hard power and I've got my UK 15 amps here for my dimming. Uh, also worth mentioning, we have uh, all PowerCon true ones and also uh, all uh, 16 amp C form variants available as well. Uh, with my data, I'm just coming into my dimmer and that's then just getting daisy chained through my uh, LED and moving light. Uh, worth mentioning, if beta pack 4 is the last device in the line, uh, you don't need to terminate the line uh, because beta pack 4 is self-terminating. Uh, behind me here, we've got our beta pack fours here. We've got four beta pack fours in our rack. Um, could also be wall mounted using the same brackets. Okay, uh, we got the very uh, common here, all 15 amp UK uh, socket variant. Um, also worth mentioning as well, we do have the Swiss and the EU socket variants available too. Uh, and so here, all of my uh, 15 amp plugs, they're all in my bottom row of sockets. That's my dimming sockets. Uh, but if for a particular show I realize, ah, right, well, I've got a moving head fixture in circuit four on my uh, first dimmer today, uh, before powering up my system, I can literally come in and just pull out that one from my uh, dim socket and instead plug it into my top row of hard power. Worth mentioning, beta pack four, uh, the top row, they are non-dim, they're hard powered, they go back to the same MCB as the dim channel, uh, and they just go back and pair up. If you do need more than one thing plugged in, you can, of course, use splitters, you can use Grelco's, so long as the total load doesn't exceed 10 amp per channel. 